I gotta tell you, by the way, and and we've come into the stream a little hot today, just to begin with. I these are all genuine anecdotes. The names have not been changed to protect the innocent. I I tried cereal with milk because so many people told me I was crazy for not. Um, what the hell is this menu? The guillotine menu? Do not... Okay, wait, this is too close to the start of the video. What, do not put your wee-hoo into the objectives menu. Some of you guys are cool. Do not put your wee-hoo into the objectives menu. Okay, so yes, I, I tried cereal with milk because everybody, when I said that I um, consume my cereal without milk, people lost their minds. Somebody said, how are your teeth not broken? Now that person was clowned on a little bit. Um, on top of that, hang on. On top of that, people said you, you're not experiencing cereal the way it's meant to be experienced. You're, um, you're missing out on that milky goodness at the bottom of the bowl. I told people, I don't like milk. I don't like milk, I don't like chocolate milk. People said try it with oat milk, okay. I didn't intend for this to happen, but here's the chain of events. By the way, if you love big ambitions, I apologize. But we're just, look, my, my sliders are all full right now. Um, we're at Costco. My wife previously bought a Costco set of like make at home bubble teas, but she, we never stock milk in the house except chocolate milk for the baby. So she said, I need some milk. She got a three pack of oat milk. All of a sudden we got oat milk. I say, I would, I consider myself a scientist of the mundane. I'm not, I'm not stuck in my ways completely. People say cereal with milk is better. I'm going to give it a try. I, I pour, and this is like, now I, I'd say at this point I've had three bowls of, of cereal with milk. It tastes 94% the same. You guys have gaslit yourselves into thinking that if you were out of milk, you can't eat cereal. It's almost exactly the same. It's a little bit colder, and the cereal is a little bit softer, and that's it. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's borderline. I mean, you would definitely, 100% of the time, you would know that you have milk in the cereal in a blind taste test, but it's like the difference between, I'm telling you, it's the difference between a, a B and a B plus on an essay or something like that. It's, it's not a major difference. It's not that, and the reason I'm saying this is not to say like, oh, dry cereal's better. It's to say you guys lost your minds when I told you I ate dry cereal. Like I was crazy. They're almost exactly the same experience. On maybe your teeth are like calcium deficient or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're waking up. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Also, one in chat, please, if you're familiar with a cereal called Vector. I was telling Bear Taffy this in, in the Discord last night. He said, I've never heard of Vector. Sinvictus said, what the F is Vector? I was embarrassed. I thought Vector was like a well-known cereal. So I, instead of typing what Vector is, I just typed, they don't know Vector, Keck W, and then didn't reply. <laughs> anyway. Where I'm from, Vector is a, a, a mid-level marketing company. I think it's the same, or multi-level marketing. I think it's the same here. I remember my friend did a job interview, quote unquote job interview at, um, at Vector Marketing. And uh, the interview was he just shadowed the other marketer while they tried to sell books out of like a wagon outside a Walmart or something like that. And then he was like, well, that's the interview. Do you want to go get lunch? And my friend was like, sure. And then um, they went to McDonald's and he was like, oh, I forgot my wallet. Can you pay for it? Which is like the ultimate red flag, I think. If you go for a job interview and the person interviewing you asks you to pick up their lunch, do not take the job. 